Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the SUP Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Luke Trevisi. Back at it again, episode 121. Uh, ready to have some fun with you guys. Uh, to my left, virtually, I got Chris Cheney. What up, what up, what up? And uh, next to me, also, uh, down south, we got Lawrence Deloach. What's up? Talk to me. All right, everybody, how are we doing? It's another <laughs> week in quarantine where, Chris, you don't support me through every single one of my intros. There's always, you always got to laugh at something. No, I was laughing at Lawrence say, talk to me like it was, he think he's an agent from 1992. Well, listen, but all right, we got a lot of good stuff coming this week, all right? A lot of That's good, hot, hot noise, you know? A lot of hot noise coming out, coming out of a lot of different camps. Yeah, uh-huh. Let's talk about, let's get right out, out of the gates. We got Bone Town 4s coming out, bro. The sales, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for these, man. The off-white four Jordan 4s. What do we think, guys? Lawrence, you weren't here when we talked about them uh, because I remember distinctly that we were goofing off and calling them the Bone Town 4s. <laughs> Bone Town 4s, yeah. Yeah, because you take them to, you, you wear these, you, you're going go to go to Bone Town. They're also the color of bones, kind of. Yes. <laughs> really, uh, osteoporosis ridden bones. Uh, Lawrence, scoliosis fours. Scoliosis fours. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm very excited about these. You know, they uh, they have the extended uh, women sizing, so it basically is going up to like a men's fifteen or, um, and it is uh, honestly, it's one of the to me one of the better drops of the year. Um, obviously we know that off white and Nike carries a certain, you know, level of hype and people are going to come out because obviously the resale is going to be decent, but right. this is just an aesthetically pleasing shoe to me. Mm -hmm. I also I like, um, about them. It's the least like Virgil looking of his releases. Like it's, it's toned down to the point where if you get rid of the zip tie and all you have is the air it, like, that's really all that Virgil's can kind of towards and like the quotes on the shoelaces but it's like not over the top crazy and there's no like weird you don't have to cut anything out or think yeah. abstractly i agree there's not really much like uh crazy design in this one I, it feels like the uh i don't know what those tabs are um like those triangle tabs they kind of look like uh they kind of look like cartilage themselves which i kind of like as a, a little mm -hmm. detail um which is kind of what inspired the bone town name for me yeah um, no, cool. i like them i like them i like them a lot um obviously uh sneakers is doing a draw and you know when we have a draw you know what that means it's going to be super hard and, and uh virtually impossible to get but i, mm -hmm. I definitely i'm going to be going for this shoe um i think it's one of those uh it's a four which when you start looking at jordan's and the fives are, are great but they obviously don't bring the same allure that, you know, the, the ones or the threes or the fours bring to the table. So I want to see where this lands in terms of resale, because it isn't the, the red colorway that was that we saw originally, the black and red colorway. But right. I still think this is uh, this is still a good enough shoe that we're you're going to be paying if you strike out probably like 800 to 1000 on the shoe. Off the jump for sure. You think that much? Wow. Yeah, I think so. You look at if you look at the fives, which I mean, obviously the fives are a better colorway because it took the metallic uh, black colorway that you know that they have. Mm -hmm. But it's still such a it's such a clean shoe that there's and when it goes to extended sizes, I think the I think when you're dealing with men's you know eleven and up, those those are going to be so fucking hard to get. Right. Yeah. We've seen it. I saw it with the with the uh, cactus plant uh, vapor max. When when you start getting men's extended women's extended sizes, it yeah. uh, it the shoe itself. I mean, you know, they don't produce as many uh, bigger sizes, and it, it's definitely going to be a hard shoe to get. It is going to be real difficult. We're all going to be very sad if we catch L's. Hopefully, nobody catches L's. Uh, these will be releasing July twenty fifth. Everybody. Yep. Get your uh, get your all schedules out. Does anybody um, know any good raffles to enter for this? Yeah, um, it's all of them. <laughs> Just all, whatever it is, all of no, them. No, <laughs> for sure. But I don't know if there's any has been announced yet. No, nothing's been like I don't think anything's really been announced yet because we're still uh, as of this podcast, what thirteen days away from the actual release. Mm -hmm. I think as uh, obviously as we get closer to the release date, probably sometime 
uh, not uh, sometime next week, we'll start knowing, or maybe even, let me see if I'm looking at my calendar correctly. If they come on the 25th, uh, sometime, uh, like probably Sunday, the 19th, next Sunday, we'll start seeing raffles. Yeah. Yep. That sounds about right. And it's probably the usual suspects, the fucking, you know, Kiff, that'll get, um, um, uh, obviously, uh, sneakers. Um, a, a dark shot, a dark, a dark horse to me is going to be Nordstrom. I want to see if Nordstrom gets these. Oh, right, because of what happened last week. Well, no, not because of what happened last week, but I know Nordstrom does. They do get off white. Uh, I'm not sure they weren't getting Jordans per se. They were getting off white dunks and Air Max 90s and Prestos. But I want to see if they if they get these. This might that might be a sleeper store. Uh, it's it's interesting to think that like Nordstrom is now like an acceptable store to buy this kind of stuff at. What do you mean? It's, kind it's of like a... what what tier do you think they're considered? Nor- Nordstrom is uh, I don't know I think they I don't know if they're tier zero, but they definitely they get tier zero zero products. They well they I don't know if they get do they get tier zero? Will we consider because they get. The off-white stuff, which I don't, I know they. Oh, so maybe they have an off-white account. They may have an off-white account, but they they do get certain. I remember they were getting like the Power Air Max uh, ones. They get certain shit. I know they at least definitely deal with quick strikes. That mm-hmm. is definite. Tier zero, I don't know if they get because what I'm trying to think. What is the most Hype shoe that they've got. I'm not hype, but like you know, in terms of limit limitness. No, I feel you. It's just weird. I've only brought it up because it's just weird to like reflect on like the stores that you can buy the stuff at, and then Nordstrom is also there. Like that doesn't throw you guys off a little bit. No, I mean it doesn't feel that off just because it's uh, because they're just kind of one of the more respected kind of shoe outlets. I would say. So it doesn't seem very odd, which also means they have the space to kind of hold these sneakers. So it kind of feels like it makes sense. But I do understand what you are saying is that I could see why it'd be weird for you, a small brain fan, us <laughs> big brain men, can only see the big picture. <laughs> I don't know. I, I th- when I think of Nordstrom, I think of like moms shopping there. No, dude. They no, get, dude. They get everything, and they, and, they, and they actually have a dedicated uh, Nike shop. Like they have a Nike uh, store inside of Nordstrom. Uh, they have the women's uh, section of uh, Nordstrom. They have a uh, store right across the street on Fifty Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they saw. I just man, it's just weird to think of them as, as a tiered store. That's all. When I like, I grew up, my mom would be like, "Yo, Nordstrom." I'd be like, "Okay, mom, whatever." And there wasn't really anything for me at the time. Now it's a different landscape, but still thinking of it as like a tiered store is just weird to me. No, they all all those stores. Barney's used to get like so they had when they had a Nike account, they were getting some fucking heat on the low. Mm-hmm. Um, Nordstrom. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I, I think that's really. I don't. I don't think. Um, Ber- Bergdorf. Berg Bergdorf Goodman. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. Yes. Berg, Bergdorf. Ber- Bergdorf. I don't. I'm maybe pronouncing it incorrectly, but. Um, they get some shit too on the low, like uh, the one on uh, Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. So it all depends, bro. Like these stores are definitely. I mean, if they're carrying all this high end shit and they're carrying a Nike account, Nike would be stupid not to put those in in their hands. The only thing is, Respect. it's how much of it really touches the sales floor because a lot of these stores deal with clients. Yeah, it's true. VIP clients, you know. So. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to – those are I'm actually going to shoot for. These are going to be the first uh, genuinely attempted at off-white Jordans that I'm going to go for. The other ones, like, it was half-assed. I didn't really care, and I didn't expect to get it. But these ones I'm actually going to, like, put some effort in because they're clean. They're nice. Yeah, I yeah. definitely want them for myself, man. Those are, that's a really good pair. Uh, like, I'll, I'll definitely shoot for, for the stars, aim for the moon. I yeah, I hate that. I hate that holy box, but – yeah. Oh, the holy box. No good. No. Pop smoke like reference. D- <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> I caught it. I'm with the times. Are you with the times, Chris? Thank you. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. That al- yeah, I'm still banging that album. That album is great. The album's great. I love it. 
It's a really good album. Um, let's keep it on um, other designer releases because we have Fujiwara also making some good headlines here with yes. uh, a couple different things. Mm-hmm. But so we got new images of some threes. Yeah. Um, and images of him wearing them, which uh, usually when you catch the guy who made them wearing them, there's a good chance they're coming out. Right. Mm. I mean, generally speaking. Yeah. Um, so these differ from the ones that were rumored to, you know, the first pair that we saw. So what do you guys right. think about the differences between the first pair and this pair? Uh, I don't know, man. These, I, I like the, uh, the fragment design on the, on the back tabs. I thought that's pretty cool. Um, the shoe kind of reminds me of like a Concord 11 with a, with a three body, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. I like, I'm going to go for them. If I don't get them, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. If you know what I mean? That fragment back air is that's heat. That's, that's, that's very great. cool. That's the coolest thing about the shoe, but yeah. Well, everything- that's food. All of Fuji shit is basically like the one cool branding switch or like the, like nice, or like the hit placement that makes yeah. the shoe. This alone. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Yeah, but it's not enough for me, like, personally, to be like, oh, I'm going to go crazy and try to get a pair of Fragment 3s, you know? Yeah. What do you think, I, Lawrence? Uh, I, I say this, and, and this happens so often in shoes. When we, the first look we get sometimes, we're like, oh, these are trash. And then as, you know, as it comes closer, and then you see those product shots on that Nike throws up, everyone is like, fuck, I need these. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel as if they follow the uh, simplistic pattern that uh, Fuji Ra- Fuji Rara Wara Rara <laughs> fuck it uh, does Hiroshi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it follows the pattern that Hiroshi goes by all the fucking time. It's a basic shoe. This is the third three that we've seen uh, some type of mock up or we've seen pictures of. We saw the. The gray ones, we saw the gray and the black ones. And then we mm-hmm. also saw the the original quote unquote fragment threes, which was the the royal uh blue cements, basically. Blue, yeah. 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 Um it's 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 more so it definitely gives me what it honestly gives me is I'm waiting for Mark Parker to get his his version of a three now because we've gotten the the whole HTM uh, uh, triplet crew of Hir- Hiroshi, uh, Tinker, and Mark Parker. We got Tinker threes. Mm-hmm. If we get a pair of Fragment threes, uh, I, I honestly feel like they should have just did an HTM three and fucking blown everyone's head off. Right. I, I do, like I said, I, I'm a big fan of some of his work. Um, we definitely have to see better shots of these. They are so basic, but that's what he that's basically what fragment is the, mm-hmm. i mean it's fragment is simplicity done well cuz yeah. if you look at everything generally speaking that's hype that people cater to the core of it is all just simple shit like a supreme is a box logo that's it mm-hmm. on most mm-hmm. shit it's just the box logo and it's fucking 10 times the retail price after that mm-hmm. fuji is a great example of just someone who just does simple shit correct so I want these to come out. I also want those. This is bad yeah. because um, my bank account's not going to look very high if all these come out and I actually get them. Okay. And well, then we have – go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, listen, you, you, you buy it and then you just don't eat for like 10 months, you know? Yes. And you're good. You're, you're good, good, man. Fuck it, man. You're good, man. Stop. Listen, you're stop. Good. Stop it. Um, we also – and also with uh, Hiroshi, we also saw <laughs> – I know, Luke, that's what you were leading into? That's uh, so exactly what I was leading into. No, but wait, who, 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 what is, what's the guy's name? Hiroshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know he, a lot he of Hiroshis, <laughs> man. That's all I'm saying. Could you be more specific? <laughs> F, F dot Hiroshi. <laughs> Fujiwara. Fujiwara. Uh, don't make that the title of this shit, neither, y'all. <laughs> no. No, we can't Fujiwara. do that. Fujiwara. Oh fuck! Yeah, he got some Sakai's. At least he's, he's wearing yeah. some. He's got some. It looks like he's got a Sakai uh, coming out as well. A Sakai, a, a fragment Nike Sakai waffle. That's that a triple is, label. 
Yes, I I don't know what episode I was where I was like kind of hating on triple labels when they're not done right. This one is hype as shit. Yeah, this, this, the names alone are like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, it's really nuts. Now these are done fucking great, amazing. Yes. Um, I let think. Me, let me share my screen for the. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I remember going. exactly what we were talking. About. We were talking about the uh, the Sean Wetherspoon A6 Atmos collab. That's what we were talking about when you mm-hmm. said triple collabs fucking suck sometimes. Yeah, like but that's this one. Uh, awful triple label. This is fucking. I'm looking at these shoes. This is incredible, then, Lawrence. This was your shoe of the year, and now it's got the addition of the fragment imprint. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's a it's a well done shoe. Jesus. Um, if you if, if it actually comes out, you know, yeah, people are gonna go crazy for this one, and um, and rightfully so. Yeah, we already we already talked about how good the Sakai uh, waffle. Uh, how they were done, and if we throw in the the classic uh, fragment, uh, yeah, we're yeah people are gonna fucking lose their shit for this. We're shit. already losing our shit, and these are just this is just an idea right now. There's no release date, nothing, you know. I it's, I'm I want these so bad. I'll fight every kindergartner on the planet for these. Well, what's interesting now is that we're seeing we saw uh, we saw a, a, a fragment three, and now we're seeing a fragment Sakai waffle, which makes me believe that they are uh, in the works. They're Nike and, and Hiroshi are definitely cooking a lot of shit up. Yeah, um, I'm not Fujiwara saying Fujiwara ten. I don't know if we're getting a Fujiwara ten, <laughs> but I don't know if we're getting a, a fragment ten, but. Uh, <laughs> We're definitely we're definitely getting something because, like I said, we, uh, now we're seeing you know we're, we're seeing these shoes, and it's always been interesting to me, man. I, I have a uh, I have the fragment uh, Roshi runs from mm-hmm. 2014, which I, which uh, if you could pull those up, can you pull those up, Chris? I just want to see those. Yeah, let me up. let me get them. Uh, cover me while I find it. Fragment Roshi's. <laughs> NBA Fuji still not bad. Wara, <laughs> Roshi's. I just gotta slow it down. Fuji, Wara, <laughs> Roshi, Roshi's. Fuji Wara Roshi run. Shoot. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, these are also clean too. I, I, yeah, yo, I kind of get mad when like I see a guy just like take a color and then like somehow gets to own it. Yeah. And he owns kinda, blue. He, he yeah. just puts everything. Now, what I'm about to say is a hater uh, in me talking design wise because he's perfected his imprint so much that he can literally just put his logo on something blue and it's amazing. So don't mistake me for not. I, he's in my top five designers all time, but mm-hmm. I'm so frustrated that he gets to just make things blue and add his logo to it. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, get better. <laughs> I know. I need to. I need to. It's not fair. I've been doing everything wrong in my career, and I'm very jealous of this man because he's pick, amazing. You should pick a color. Just pick a color and just work with that color consistently. I, it's more than that. I don't even know how you get to the well, point. Well, I'm telling you, you exactly something. how to do it. You're saying, oh, it's more than that. Well, look, this guy's got blue. So pick a different color. He does color. have blue. What? Do, it, uh, never mind. Yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I'm going to start making everything like uh, I'll, you know what? I'll take bone. That'll be. <laughs> You'll be bone. You'll be the bone I'll, guy. I'll be the bone guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you know what? It does fit his personality. Because <laughs> then I can know I can make sexual innuendos the whole time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. I think you had uh, you had a Nike show just being like, "Hey, I made another bone shoe." Ha ha! I do your laugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, anyway, moving on. Uh, beyond just having um, Fujiwara making some Sakai waffles, uh, it seems like these Sakais that we've spoken about before are actually going to come out because they were canceled, if I'm remembering the story correctly. But now, they're, uh, they're, yes. they're the Vaporfly SPs here are coming out. I don't think huh. they were ever canceled, Chris. I think they just... Uh, Postponed. We saw, yeah, we saw product shots, uh, and I don't think anyone, I think, I don't think they were canceled. 
Maybe, I think, I, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like there was something where, like, yeah, we got product shots. Because I remember we discussed them when we came out. We were kind of talking about, like, how ridiculous the soul is. Yeah. And then they fell off the face of the earth. What's pissing me off is uh, people were killing the shoe when, when they first saw the images. They're like, this shoe fucking sucks. Yeah. The, 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 wild, the OG waffles kill these shits. And now they see these on feet. And then everyone's like, oh, I fucking need these. And to be honest with you, I don't even like the black colorway that much. I want the white, blue, and red joints. Like, if I don't oh, get those, yeah, those, those are really get, nice. I'm going to be pissed. Those I've are, been on. Go ahead. Those are way better than the black joints. Yeah. And I, I will see fit that I have a pair of those. I have been <laughs> on record saying I want the Seattle Supersonics colorway, but my G's, the, yeah, the, the white, red, and blue ones are real nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're so they're think- maybe the cleanest pair. I think this original image that I got on here, like with the green, oh, the three of them, that was like the one that originally came out. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things, I guess, where we got, we caught the leaked images so early and then like, you're like, you forget or I don't know, but yeah, yeah. these are great. These are outstanding. You're right, Lawrence. I agree with you. That red, white and blue pair is the way to go. And this super sonic yeah. isn't bad either. I want nothing other than that fucking uh, red, white, and blue pair. Oh, wear like, that with a Sean Kemp jersey. I get that one to one suck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me. That hit me late. Um, <laughs> yo, there's something about everyone, I particularly Nike, but a lot of people are doing fucked up shit with souls, and I don't know where this trend came from. Uh, who was doing it first? I don't uh, know. I I mean, kind of uh sakai with their waffle the the first one i think was like the first real one i that i saw start to fly but mm-hmm. everyone's doing fucked up shit with souls like they tried it with um those flyies those and the jordan 34s where they got right. the hole in the soul and then mm-hmm. um oh you know what guys sorry can i can i direct this somewhere real quick Hold on. sure speaking of fucked up souls can uh, we talk we, on our podcast about sneaker talking yes of course Show okay, us what I, you didn't, got. I didn't have it on the docket but uh the, those ispas that we we didn't met, talk about last week ah that's right the ispas. Yo, cause these souls are fucking insane yeah these are very unique souls uh i think those are like one of the biggest takeaways from those the new designs of these i guess they're trail running shoes I don't even know. I'm trying to find a good image of just the sole. So hold on a second. Them, them, them shits is crazy. So oh, I don't know mm-hmm. exactly what Nike's like initiative, like thought, like what their purpose is for doing this like weird sector. Uh-huh. But so the ISPA branding itself is they, t- they took letters from all the other branding, like Nike Air, the whatever, and they spelled ISPA. And um, shit, I can't find the sole. Hold up. Cover me again. Sorry. NBA still not back. It's currently seven fifteen. They're not back yet. Um, the Knicks are not going to the playoffs this year. I can tell you that right now. Oh man, I've been playing two K, bro. I've been playing two K so much. I picked my, for my career. I picked the Knicks because I'm stupid. Um, and let me tell you, Lawrence, the Knicks are garbage in this game. They like worse than usual. Bro, I hate that game. I I, uh, I play that game with uh, a former uh, previous guest, uh, Joey uh, Chen Sinati, and um, <laughs> and I end up getting so mad because like he just runs around shooting threes with Steph Curry, and I'd be like, "Yo, I fucking hate this yep. this game. This game is the worst game. There's it's an arcade game, fucking taking people's money." I gotta show you. Somebody put up a video of uh, some dude hacked their my my player and made his wingspan 50 feet so he's just walking around with gigantic arms it's so fucking funny bro it's a terrible it's a terrible game that they're taking people's money and and i'm upset i don't like the game i don't, I don't like it at all i I'm guess sorry it, you feel that way i think the last good 2k was like maybe 2000 i think 2012 was really good i like 2k yeah. 16 but 16 like 2K, was good 2K20, like, bro, like, I told my boy, I said, I was, we used to play 2K16 all the time, and I used, used to, to cook them. Yeah. Oh, my, dude, he would play with Golden State, just jack up threes, and I would yeah. play with OKC with Durant and Westbrook. Right. Him. 
Yeah. And then we, I didn't play a, a 17, 18, or 19. I got 20. This dude is literally just, it's such a, it's such a garbage game to me. Trash. All right. Let's see. I these wonder souls if I right add these uh, Vispa, Inspa souls. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to segue back. Have, you, you guys can see these, right? Yes, uh, Yeah. Them, this, them sheets is crazy. I mean, there's a whole collection of shoes. I don't, we don't need to get to the whole thing, but this one specifically, these Road Warriors, look at these fucking things, dude. They look like so they got, only, like, jump jacks on them. Yeah, and they have the toe break. Right. And those ca- They have a camel toe is what you're saying. Yeah, they have a camel toe. In the toe box. Bro, that shit is weird to me. This is, this is the weirdest part. of This is where they lost me on this shoe. It's like, I don't want people looking down at my shoe after quarantine when they haven't seen a woman in forever and be like, you know what? Those toes looking good. <laughs> this shit's really crazy. Um, I mean, I like it based off of, like, you know, just basic shoe innovation. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like they're trying something new and cool. Look at this shit. Jesus Christ. It looks like it's fucking going to make you hover. Yeah, it, it really does. It looks like you're just, you're legitimately going to jump much higher. Mm-hmm. that's just crazy but yeah, and then they, are... you have those other pairs with like just the rocky sole those like yeah. orange and black ones under i mean oh, that, that one too these yeah there's a lot of cr- crazy weird shit on here but um I'm, I'm gonna pay attention i think you guys should pay attention i'm talking to the um audience pay attention to shit like this just because it's it's weird projects like this where then you get like some solid new tech <laughs> shoes like reacts and stuff And then they run with that. But it's always out of these weird projects that you get the fucking new hot shit. Do you think they just have... I want to meet the design crew behind these shoes because I think they're the weirdest people that work at Nike. They're the the guys who, like, openly do mushrooms on the campus, I think. Absolutely. And they don't take showers. They're just, like, the, the weirdos in the corner. And, like, when the Nike execs need a new, like, innovation in shoes, they're like, we'll go to the weird guys. And they're not happy about it either. I do like the idea of Daiki just having a meeting like, all right, so we got to think of some weird shit to make so we can stay relevant in this innovation sector. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's get a bunch of guys on mushrooms. Let's put them in a room. <laughs> Give them a pen and a pad. I, they don't need to draw anything. We'll go off that. <laughs> <laughs> I want springs in my shoes. <laughs> and they did it. And then they fucking did it. They're like, what if Michael Jordan wanted to be a ninja? <laughs> That was the and idea. Yes, my rockets on the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> oh shit! It looks like Flubber made these. I don't know. Fuck. Jesus this shit is Christ. great though. Yeah, it's they're wonderful. interesting. They're interesting shoe. Uh, the Ispa design. I think. Uh, I think we've we're seeing Nike. Uh, you know, do a more. Uh, they're going a more abstract, weird direction in terms of you seeing like these Ispas. You're seeing uh, the the space hippies uh they're they're trying different things which that always you know is it's always welcomed uh the my issue with shit like that is they make it so hard for the average consumer to really touch the innovative shit that they're throwing out there yeah because the pairs are so limited yeah it's uh you know it's it's definitely it's it's a thing of like oh man this is dope like what nike's doing oh man they're they're making you know reusable material type of sneakers oh man i want to fucking try this out and then it gets to that point where it's like you're you're striking out because they're selling out so fast because everyone is like trying to you know resell or right or or they'll just like overprice it like those first uh auto lacing ones uh there were 700 bucks right and now they're down to like 450, right? They're, yeah, now they're down to 400, which well, is still a ridiculous amount for a sneaker. We're talking about the Earl joints, right? We're talking about the, the Earl, uh, Nike Earl. I call them no. the Mag Lows. The Earl. The Adapts? Oh, Not yeah. the, the Hyper Adapts. They were, uh, I forgot what they were called, but they were like Earl. They Nike Earl. If you like Google that, that's what they. Uh, yeah, let me see. Nike Earl. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Auto Adapts. Yes, the same shoe. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are talking about the same shoe. So it's like, you know, you, you really, um, the hyper adapt. So you, uh, you, you start, you see all this new technology that Nike's putting out there. And obviously, you know, I'm sure, you know, it costs money to make or, you know, whatever it is, but 
you you're not the there's so many people who just will never touch that stuff because it's super limited or it's just you know it's a lot of bullshit Nike does and we we go over this a lot well uh with the space hippies we might actually get a couple more chances to cop these we've got the volt colorways coming out at later Mm -hmm. in the month we also have there were first looks at the space hippie jordan one and then we have those dunks that i don't know if you guys saw the dunks as well which not confirmed to be space hippie but they look like they have like that space hippie soul the lemon you're talking about the lemon wash uh sbs yes i think so yeah lemon wash uh Yes, it's called the lemon wash. Um, yeah, those are supposedly uh, – originally they were talking about those for Space Hippies, but uh, I don't know. I don't think they are. But I they hope are... they stop making Space Hippies stuff. I hate these shoes. Poor K. I, they just – they do look like they were made from stuff off the ground. Right. That's their – Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think that maybe there's going to be innovation in the future to make it more? I mean, like, obviously the aesthetic on them is lacking, right? Uh, but, I, I like sustainable stuff. I like right. upcycle shit. Like, uh, that's all cool to me, but don't make it look like you picked it up off the ground. It's the same idea where it's like, don't, I don't want to buy dirty looking shoes, brand mm-hmm. new. And I don't want to look like you, made, you picked up stuff off the ground and you fucking glued it together. All right, that's fair. Yeah, but I mean, like, conceptually, oh, sick. I'm on board for that. I just don't want to wear them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> also, do you guys want to talk a little Yeezy news? Yeah, we can go into Yay. We could talk about a little bit of – Yeezy's got his own streaming service. Is that correct? He's. I mean, Yay is – I don't know. Album mode, dude. Kanye in album mode, he's just, he tries to do the weirdest shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always he's in the public eye and he wants, you know, when he when he's in album mode, like you said, he's doing weird, wild shit, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess he's going to try to make his own streaming service to compete with the fucking giant conglomerates that are his, like, his, his friends, essentially. Yeah, this came out like four years too late. Yeah, right? I mean, I don't know why he's doing this when he just saw what Jay-Z had to go through when he was making title. Yeah, he's not doing that shit, man. Yeah, no, this shit is... It's uh, I don't know, man. I support Yay in every venture. I I personally maybe I won't if if we see it happen, I'll just be like I can't believe he did it. It's the same thing that happens with everything that Kanye West does. Mm-hmm. It's just if he does it, great. If he doesn't do it, I mean it's Kanye West. You know he's gonna give us an album anyway. You know what Yay did do? Uh, that kind of I mean, this gap shit is crazy the more i look at it and then i'm going back i archived like some of the cooler stuff that i, I saw uh from gap and like i think last week i said yeah he's just gonna do a bunch of like yzy shit instead of gap but <laughs> gap got some shit that he could really fuck with and i didn't realize that so i have to apologize to gap yeah and the that? fact that he got um i mean just if you google vintage gap some of the shit you're like oh shit this is tight uh it's kind of got like uh, I don't know how to say like, uh, like it's got polo vibes, but it's Gap. They're old. Uh, right. I mean, and polo's fire. We already know that old polo shit's fire. It's all it's in the same realm of it. But then you throw like SZA wearing it or Metro Boom, and this shit's gonna go off like he's got. Yes, I'm looking at some of the vintage stuff now. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'll necessarily wear any of it, but I yeah, I got to redact what I said before. Now that uh, there's a lot more to work with than I realized, and if you give Ye all creative reign like he should have when you collaborate with him, then yeah, there's some fire shit that's gonna come out of that. All right, all right, Ye. That YZY why though, I that core YZY, why I will wear that. That's kind of fire. I like yeah. that. Yeah. A Yeezy box logo. I need that. I don't, I don't know. know if you would call that a box logo, like whatever it is, though. That that YZY, it's a it's a logo in a box. No, no, I meant like you know they got the GAP, they got the yeah. arch joint. Yeah, oh. I just want that. Oh, that, that shit one. YZY flames. Got you, got you. Yeah. Anything um, else? 
Not with Ye. I, I, if we talk about him anymore, we're going to end up talking about fucking the presidency again. So let's just get off of him. Yeah, let's get yeah, off that's of fine. <laughs> Lawrence got immediately like, yeah, let's get away, get away, get away. Run, run, run away, run away. What we can go to is, um, Lawrence, I know you're excited about this, is the Kith uh, Looney Tunes drop, which is basically just hipster, tight pants, slot 29 shit. Yeah, actually, I think uh, it, I think what Ronnie does best, obviously, is you know he takes uh, a lot of shit from the '90s or you know older, and then he uh, he puts his little Ronnie Kiff you know twist on it, and then people eat it up. Um, am I going to go for some of this? I actually I wouldn't mind a T-shirt. To be honest with you, I, I think it's uh, I'm going to try tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, it's a huge collection, but I definitely want something. I, I, I wouldn't mind it. Just a shirt. Um, and you know what? Uh, I got to give some credit to, uh, whatever licensing team they have over at Kith. Cause like when I was at Sprayground and we were doing Looney Tunes shit, they were super anal about some of the things that Ronnie has been able to get by and approved like this, just us Kith. That's all folks flip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We tried to do, we tried to do so many things like that. And they were like, yo, they were like go fuck yourself shut up get away really? from us yeah. yeah but these guys like, like that's a good flip and he got it approved like that's what's up i mean i know kith and sprayground are two different types of accounts but mm-hmm. i mean generally speaking like even the space jam flip is fire yeah the space jam one is kind of nice and i hate to give them this kind of credit because i don't like kith yeah you have been on record yeah, not like you yeah i'm, I'm actually mm-hmm. no go Lawrence. No, like I said, I, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, yeah, it's interesting to see, like, you know, the things, like you said, that uh, Kith is able to get away with. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, Luke, are you going to try to go for anything tomorrow or no? Yeah, I'm trying to get that Speedy Gonzalez shirt. That's the only one that I want for me, that everything else I don't care for. But that Speedy Gonzalez shirt just works for me. I don't know the why. Bet- the best one to me is the bugs chilling on the box logo and they made the box logo orange and have a carrot. Uh, let like, yeah, the blue that was pretty the, cool. I actually wouldn't mind going for that either. Yo, that's kind that, of fire. That's to me the best one out of this whole collection, just purely because of the simplicity and the story, which it's like, you got the poster boy bugs right up front. That's our mm-hmm. guy. Everyone loves bugs. You got the orange carrot box logo. That's what's up. That's, that's a simple, just clean I, as shit. I actually might, yeah, I might go for that. That seems kind of, <clears throat> kind of fire. The other shit is cool though. Like I said, all this other shit is fucking really well executed. Um, as as much as I hate to admit that. Hoodie, yeah, this is a you know, it's all a lot of it is uh. I will say when he has these, he has these huge collections that that drop, and I think a lot of it, some of it is like very hit, some of it is very missed. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, these are. This one's out of the park, bro. Damn. I'm just looking at it some more, and I'm just like, this is a very good collection. Also, uh, for the listeners, I guarantee uh, tomorrow and all this week, there's going to be a hot-blooded discussion in the Discord. So I, if you, if you want to tell us what you like, hop on the Discord, get in here. We're all talking about this shit. Um, mm-hmm. Bro, yeah. the, the Speedy Gonzalez deck, though? The yeah, the deck, deck is nice. The I'll, little flip on DHL too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice. You know, Lawrence, even going back to what you were saying about him doing 90 shit, I mean, because the lot 29 was a heavy 90 shit, so he gets like a double point here for not right. only doing this cleanly and correctly, but also flipping on what we wore in the 90s with the lot 29 shit. Bro, and then you throw in the Space Jam reference. That's a triple. Yeah. This 90s. is really okay. This is that's we, peak nineties, bro. I don't like how much credit we're giving them right now, but it's true. Like this yeah, is bro, that's you, a really you got, good collection. You got it. That's what I'm saying. You got to give credit where credit's due on this one. This is a fire collection to me, man. Yeah, this one's damn. They, <laughs> this is Vince Carter hanging from the rim. It really is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a honey dip type of dunk. Damn. This is a honey dip, baby. <laughs> uh. How long have we been going? Are we good? Is there anything else no. we want to talk about? Well, we've only done like a half hour. It's 7.30. Or when did nah, we start? We've we, we done more than half an hour, bro. Yeah. Have we? I don't know how to see on the thing how long we've done. But... Fuck, I should have timed. Yeah. We... <clears throat> I think we started at like 6.40, so we still got like 10 minutes. 
All right, so let's just do a couple more things and wrap it up. Um, not uh, – well, Lawrence, as our supreme uh, – our main uh, supreme correspondent, um, how is the construction in Milan? I, I hate when you say that shit. That's <laughs> the main – I honestly hate when you say that shit. <laughs> I fucking hate. Um, You're the Supreme it Correspondent. It would have been amazing if you were wearing a Supreme shirt while he said <laughs> yeah, the Supreme it, Correspondent. No, thing. ever since he brought his hair, though, he's not wearing his Supreme hats. The all yeah. 57 he has. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck. Yeah, I'm growing my hair out, so it's kind of like it's uh, some Supreme fit, hats don't fit no more. They don't feel the same. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's supposed to be next year, I believe. Um, um, that's it. Everyone's gonna obviously go want to see the Supreme Box logo. Um, this is this is uh officially my um complete. I'm I'm I've had enough. Once you get a store in Milan, this is not streetwear anymore. This is high the, the high art. The mm-hmm. the price tags aren't streetwear. There's no streetwear stores that are in the U.S. that are also in Milan. And Tokyo, and sh- this is beyond. This is them, I think, leaving the streetwear category. If you ask me. So you're gonna put them in the high fashion territory? I'm gonna put them in the same category that Off White is in, which is that weird middle ground, and I don't know how to categorize yet. So it's like it's like uh, like art house fashion almost, right? Where it's I don't like, even wanna, like I don't even want to give them that much credit though, because it's still just t-shirts. But they're definitely like not streetwear anymore you can't dude they're owned by a billion dollar company they uh-huh. have how many flagships in how many different countries and now milan which is like uh-huh. one of the fashion why do you say milan centrals? weird milan i don't know <laughs> milan yeah, we milan? don't lord you gotta hop on this train man yeah, we're making fun that? of you saying fujiwara and now chris is saying milan <laughs> You ever seen that episode of Family Guy where he was like, uh, say cool whip? He says, Oh, yeah, cool whip. Cool Cool whip. (laughs) Say whip. Yeah, I do say it weird. Why do I say it like that? Milan. 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 I'm from Boston. (laughs) (laughs) All right, see, Lawrence, this is the title of the episode. (laughs) I'm from Milan. Me, me, M E E, Lan versus. (laughs) Milan. Fuji, yeah, Milan. <laughs> Fujiwara. Fujiwara versus Milan. Fujiwara in Milan. Fujiwara yeah. Okay, in I Milan. can say it. <laughs> oh, God. All Luke, right. you have to say something fucked up now. Uh, don't worry. That'll come eventually. You gotta, you gotta let it happen naturally, you know? <laughs> you know? Lauren, say licensing. No, licensing. you can't sing. <laughs> oh, you got it. Licensing. God damn it. He's been practicing. <laughs> Fujiwara licensing in Milan. <laughs> you can't do. You can't no, bring you can't back bring, the licensing you title, bring, bro. Yeah, you can't bring back licensing. Oh uh, no, I'm not going to. No, it, it'll be Milan something. But uh, <laughs> damn. I mean, uh, am I wrong? Are you tell me if I'm I wrong. Know, I know. I see. I hear what you're saying. But like at the end of the day, they're also still t-shirts. Uh-huh. You know. I don't know if this is streetwear anymore, dude. I don't know if you can fucking have nah, still, a store in every country. And your shit sells for thousands of dollars and it still be streetwear. Or is this me just being an old head and mad? I don't know. It's, you're just old and mad. <laughs> That's it. I don't get how I can be. Everyone calls me an old head. How am I the, old, the youngest old head in existence? I'm 31. Because you, you were working at a freaking <clears throat> Echo with 30-year-olds already. You didn't have a <laughs> chance, man. <laughs> That's right. Dude, my first, like real design job was that echo yeah you're you were you oh, started funny. an old head <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> yeah i had i guess everywhere i've really worked has been old well you know what i kiss did hit me to work there it just wasn't enough money so i, I turned it down <laughs> it's because you're old you didn't Woo! take it you didn't think you could keep up with the young kids anymore oh. No, they wanted me to do, like, retail displays, which was cool. It just wasn't enough for I, – I didn't want to do that, but I would for enough money, but they didn't offer. Sure. So. Sure. I'm serious. I hear you. No, no, no. I don't mean, like, oh, sure, like, I don't believe you. I mean, like, I hear exactly what you're saying. If, it's, yeah. if the money don't talk, you're not listening. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's do – I really want to talk about one more thing, and then we can get out of here. How's that sound? Oh, I think I know oh. what you're talking about. All right. Go ahead. Um, it's it's more just funny to me that Louis is working on a, making a camping set. Fuck yes, baby! And it's like no one that would buy this 
camps. There really is a disconnect. <laughs> like, it, Bape doing one, cool. There are some Bape campers. Supreme doing one, cool. There's a bunch of normal brands that are in this category that, like, people will buy and then actually, like, hike and camp in. But yeah. why would I buy this when I could buy a dime, uh, down payment on a house? Because this isn't for you. That's the thing, Chris. It's, it's for no it's, one. No, it is. No, no, it's it is for people. It's for fucking rich, wealthy people that may not want Supreme. That fucking continue. Why do you think Dior is a? Why do you think people spend a hundred thousand dollars on Dior? Shit like this. All right, there's some rich people out there that fucking camp. Bro, and, look at and, some of the cases. Look at that. Look at that case. That blue case is nice. That's what I'm the saying. Case, dude. No, the case is nice, but like, all right. So if you, this is how this, full of shit that this thing is. Yeah. If you outside, right, camping in this, there's no need to have the sky on the inside of the tent. Maybe it calms you down because you're a rich person and you're outside, bro. It kind of makes Chris, sense. Chris, Chris, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say okay. this. Uh-huh. There are people and, you know, that we obviously, that we're, we're just not them. And when I say we're <laughs> not them, there are people who fucking, who will eat shit like this up. People who have spent a lot of money, people who fucking want to camp but they want to camp in style bro like you think there's people who spend fifty thousand dollars on the trunk bro on, yeah. on, on an lv trunk so it's just like yeah but they right. use that they're not I using just, this that's my argument but who's saying that they're not using it yeah like yeah it doesn't seem practical to you and me but to a motherfucker that's, that has so much money or a motherfucker that's like that wants to camp or like they're old or what, whatever it is this to them is yeah it's a drop in a bucket they didn't make well, this. They didn't make this saying we're gonna sell zero units. They're gonna sell units of the shit because once again, people want to camp, but they may not want to camp in some bullshit tent to to them, quote unquote, to them. Right. So, I just you know so, what I'm my so, thing is that anyone buying this shit probably is more of a glamper than a camper. Okay, then, but it's still it's still gonna it's still gonna sell. Bro, people what? are gonna buy the shit. Bro, but let's talk about the photo shoots. For all of the, the IG girls, bro. The IG girls. This is gonna be fucking. This is this is a set piece, bro. Uh, dude. Only Virgil and his family are using this. Fucking Sarah Snyder is gonna have this on her Instagram in two weeks, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be liking the shit out of it. I'm gonna like it, unlike it, and like it again. Um, which Spice Girl is David Beckham's wife? She's gonna do that. I know she's Posh Spice. What's her Victoria? Victoria yeah. Beckham, yeah. She's gonna be poshing in these for sure. She's gonna be poshing in this. Yeah, there's there are better. The funny part is there are like better high quality tents that you can get in this price range. I'm that sure. That is what I. That's my thing. Like you could get like a I much mean, more comfortable tent than this. I understand that, but once the again, mo- there are people who are who just addicted to the, who just who who love the brand. It's brand loyalty. Yeah. If you if you have brand loyalty to a certain brand, and then you're saying, hey, I want a, a Louis Vuitton tent, then this is the perfect item for you. <laughs> will it sell a lot? Probably not. But will it sell enough? Probably. That case will sell a lot. That being, sky blue case. The idea of being brand loyal to Louis Vuitton is <laughs> fucking... It's, a, it's so, a level of affluence. I hope that's to, so much I don't know, money. Man. I, I want to I want to grasp that. I want to know what that feels like. To but be that's what brilliant. I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's a level that yeah we're not at, but doesn't mean that someone who who may like we may say oh man I want this fucking Nike or or Supreme tent or whatever and that's it's the same way they look at that Louis Vuitton tent. It's like fuck it yeah I'm fucking loaded. You know what I mean? And and yeah we're gonna go camping so and, and we're and you gotta realize people have money and people blow. Sh- Shit, like I was, I was shocked, not shocked, but I'm always like shocked when I hear these stories of like these people like Mr. Porter or, or, uh, or like Dior where there's some of their spenders are spending 150K, $200,000 on, on goods. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, what are they spending the money on? And it's like I said, it's shit like this, you know yeah. what I mean? So I, am I a fan of it? No, but I understand it. It's crazy. Yes. All right, that's it. We can end on that. Um, yes. For oh, sure. actually, real quick, I forgot to plug this last week. Um, speaking of things uh, to buy that, whatever, unnecessary. I made a hat, guys. Look, <laughs> made a hat. Uh, I made fifty of these hats. It's a flip on um, Sonic the Hedgehog and Chance the Rapper. This is one of my favorite video games growing up, and I thought of the idea a while ago. And in my quarantine boredom, um, I hit 
couple people and asked some pricing. I thought about it enough, and then I hit go, and yeah, I got fifty of these. It's Where the same can we find place. these on the website? Oh. No, I don't have them on a website yet. Uh, so I guess this is uh, like an early drop for oh. my podcast listeners. Oh. No, I mean, I got to shoot them and shit. I got to build like a little studio to shoot them. But um, it's the same place that Supreme makes their hats. Uh, nice. A10 Agency in Jersey. Uh, A-Life also used them. That's how I got the hookup uh, initially. Shout out to my nice. guy, Nico. But uh, yeah, nice. so if you want that hat, it's uh, 30 bucks. Or DM me or, or talk me down, haggle me. I don't know. Um, and that's Don't it. let them uh, know they can haggle you. No, they could try. I don't know. <laughs> talk of shit. Um, they'll make fun of me about saying Milan and then ask me for a hat. So that'd be Milan. Fun. Um, but yeah, I've any final thoughts? Anything before we kind of wrap this baby up? Free, free Woj, man. Free Woj at free ESPN. Free Woj, that's right. Free Woj, Woj. Woj. the bombs. Woj bombs, man. You got free Woj, man. For Woj out here telling senators, fuck you, man, for talking that shit. Yeah. And then they fuck in the ESPN one that suspend Woj, man. Fuck that. Free my dude Woj. I thought they free were because he because he apologized in air quotes. Nah, man. They got they gotta free him, man. I ain't like that shit. I ain't like the way that yeah, went me down, too. Man. Free Roj, free Rowdy, free Bobby. Wait, did you say Roj? It's Woj. Yeah, Woj. It's I, I'm Woj. So, I have no idea what you guys are talking about right now. Of course you wouldn't, Chris, because you're fucking <laughs> down with the 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 fucking the the one percent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not free woes, baby. Free woes, free, woes, free rowdy, free Bobby. Uh, you can follow me at not that Cheney, uh, Lawrence at LZD three two five, Luke at Trovisus. Uh, follow the podcast on Instagram. We got a phone number. We got an email. Uh, and join the Discord and buy merch from Becky. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a photo shoot coming up. Uh, eventually, I don't know when we're gonna do it, but we're doing that, so we'll get some pics from that. Uh, flex hard, and then you guys will want to buy them. I know it. I can flex feel it. Flex hard. Um, All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, Next week. Peace. Peace.